the first time I had God's servant, that the geo, my father and the Lord, say it. He prayed for 36 hours. I was young in the faith. By then, Papa, in the house I was calling him Brother Enoch. And say, so Brother Enoch Adeboye, Brother Enoch Adeboye. So we are in the Church of God mission. And I just had a tape. You know this cassette? This cassette. And he said, I was praying for this meeting. I spent 36, 36 or 38 hours with the Lord. The first thing I told myself, what is he saying? The first thing I told myself was, what is he saying? If I pray, what we finish now? So I got, I got challenged. I said, I'm going to pray. I entered into the presence of God. Reverend, I began to pray. I entered, I prayed, I prayed, and prayed, and prayed, and prayed, and prayed, and prayed. I'm not joking. I prayed, and prayed, and prayed. I was sweating. I prayed, and prayed, and prayed, and prayed, and prayed. I look at the time, 17 minutes. <laughs> 17 hours, which hours? 17 minutes. And I enter. I prayed, I prayed, and I prayed, Lord Jesus. I prayed, and I prayed, I prayed, and I prayed, I prayed. I look at the time, it was 38 minutes. I continued after I was, after like one hour, I was tired. And I sat down. I started thinking. I said, it's like some people, God just called them specially. <laughs> That's my first that you just follow. You should just follow them. Let me go and eat. I didn't kiss somebody. <laughs> an encounter to make life count. It takes an encounter to make ministry solid. Am I talking to somebody right now? And I pray for you as you hear the sound of my voice. May your encounter begin now. May your encounter begin now. Power is the proof of encounter. Not piety. Not piety. Not pious living. Power is the proof of encounter. Not piety. Am I talking to somebody? Not countenance. Not a long face. Pa I have said this over the years. Power is not powder. <laughs> Power is not powder. Not piety. Not a long face. Power is a proof of encounter. There are things that would give up and open up when power is in view. And the end. And Jesus Christ came down. He said, how long have I been with you? How long? It means, that's the key. Uh, if you want to see these results, spend time. How long? Have I been with you? How long do you pray? How long do you spend time with the word of God? It's not about, listen, prayer is not about I pray today seven hours. No. Somebody asked Smith Goswat and said, How many hours do you pray? And Smith Goswat said, I don't pray for many hours, but there is no hour I don't pray. You see intimacy? Except when my eyes are shut in bed, there's no hour. I don't pray. It can be every 10 minutes. It can be every 5 minutes. It can be every 3 minutes. It can be every... That's intimacy. Than subjecting yourself because you are trying to prove a point. Many of us have not contacted our own body. We are following people's... I am every... I'm a product of everything that the supernatural will not, should not have worked for. I've told you the story the first time I went to the mountain. There were two problems with that mountain. One was tree. There was a tree by the side. One was rock. And it was raining. 
Do you know one thing about the tree rain? When the real rain has stopped, the tree rain. <laughs> when real rain stopped, tree rain is still raining. So it was raining. As we landed, it, the, the place is Fuga, Fuga, yeah. As we got to this small mountain, as we got there, the first thing that came, boom, we used to touch. It was snake. I said, ah. This one I'm not staying. No, 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 no. We prayed that day. We left. And I told the brother, I said, no, this mountain is too local. That we need a mountain that's really a mountain. We went straight to Oshun. We got to the mountain. We, we, we drove in a Jetta car. There was a car called Jetta. Owned by a man. He's late. He has been here. He was a chief superintendent of police. We drove in the car. They took food, took water. Climbing that mountain is a lot, is a lot of stress. You know what I'm talking about. We climbed the mountain. And to, from beginning to that place, took a lot of time, traffic and all. We got there by four. By then, I couldn't fast. But we got there by four. We started climbing. We climbed. And there was a brother there, and his name was Pastor Eze. Very overzealous. As he was climbing. Uh -uh, calm down, let's climb first. Carried water. Even to climb, he was praying. As we got there, he just dropped this thing. Reka, Lord, I have come. Lord, I say, ah, uh ah. -uh. Relax. Lord, I have come. And I began to fault everything. It wasn't me talking, it was hunger that was talking. I was faulting everything they were doing. They were praying, they were praying, they were praying. I was just sitting down there. So, fortunately, they said, we are going to round up the prayer in tongues. I was just praying, they don't call brother easy. Pastor Eze. Everybody prayed. He got to Pastor Eze. Eze talk, my father, my father, in this mountain, in this mountain, may we see your power. May we? I say, ah, ah. Pray. They now say I should round up. I took a worship. I said, God say, yes, answer our prayer. <laughs> that we all should come down from the mountain and go back to Benin. <laughs> they say, what can I said, that's what the Holy Spirit <laughs> told me. <laughs> and they said, uh -uh. what kind of message is this? We just came here now. I said, there's a way, the, the, walk, the walkings of the Spirit is. Me, I was not the one standing there. I was seeing men as trees. <laughs> All I was say was, Let, let's go. He that fights and runs away. <laughs> said, let's go home. I was seeing, I was seeing dimensions. I was seeing the algorithms of the spirit. <laughs> I left. No, I left. I climbed down. <laughs> 